Um, <clears throat> let's just start with a little bit of discussion and get this out of the way. Um, yesterday, there was a segment on this show where I talked about the large amount of gifted memberships that I received last week um, here on the channel. If you remember, there were 400 gifted memberships from someone named Nikita and 100 gifted memberships from someone named Duty. All right? From what I can see, YouTube did not account for the income from those gifted memberships. Okay? It should have. But for some reason, here we are a week later because the first bomb actually hit on the 7th of January last week. And they're just not, there's no revenue recorded in my, my analytics. And I'm like, why would I have so many gifted memberships that count? Because by the way, you guys have them. You have all the benefits of them. You're using the benefits right now. Um, and they're accounted for in my uh, metrics dashboard saying that, yes, I have these memberships, but no revenue ever accounted. Okay. So the reason that this even became an issue yesterday is because before I started my stream, I went into a YouTube chat to talk to a YouTube representative about it. And I hate to say it because I've told you guys this a million times before, the YouTube representatives, you might as well talk to like, <clears throat> like for example, um, this cleaning cloth right here. Like if I actually talked to this cleaning cloth about a problem on YouTube, I'll probably get a better response out of the cleaning cloth than actually talking to the YouTube chat rep. Because even though they're supposed to be there for anyone in the partner program, that's the point. Like their partner support, they don't usually help at all with anything. All they do is they regurgitate form letter nonsense that you can easily find online by doing absolutely no work whatsoever, but instead just copy pasting a bunch of instructional stuff that they have on their desks or in their, their database. So yesterday as I was booting up my stream and you guys were hearing the pre-stream music, uh, you heard boop, 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 boop. people were like, what the hell's that? That was their chat as I was talking back and forth with them, explaining the situation, giving them screenshots and everything. Um, and basically, they were like, okay, we'll get back to you. So they did get back to me in the middle of my Resident Evil Zero stream yesterday. Okay? So again, people are like, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, I got a giant email from YouTube. Let me read it. Literally, it's every piece of nonsense, nonsense possible. So basically, here's the response. So I looked into it. <laughs> First of all, here's how gifted memberships work. Like, I don't know. And they copy-paste the entire, like, frequently asked questions about gifted memberships, okay? And then they explain, oh, well, you see, there's all these different factors that come into gifted memberships. There's exchange rates. We're not everyone who buys a gifted membership, it's the same cost, so you won't get the same amount per gifted membership depending on where someone lives. There's also the fact that if you're with a partner network, they take a cut of your revenue, so you might not have seen all the money that you were owed from a gifted membership because your partner network took part of it. And this and this and this. So I'm not even kidding you. It's like 10 form letter responses about it. None of which answer the question. So basically, here's what happened. I gave them very specific information about what was going on. I got 500 gifted memberships. You haven't recorded any revenue for any of them. I want to know why. And all they did was copy paste the 10 possibilities of what it may be without actually doing any intelligent research into what it really is. So imagine, right? If every single night someone is knocking over your trash can, all right? So you want to know who did it, what's causing the trash can getting knocked over every night, right? So you hire a private eye to monitor your trash can, right? Okay, the next morning, the private eye says, so here's 10 things it could be. It could be a raccoon. It could be the wind. It could be a malicious person walking down the street knocking over your can who they don't like you. It could be like, wait a minute, but you're a private eye. It's your job to look into what's going on and help me with it. Why are you just telling me what it could have been? Why don't you tell me what it is? Oh, well, that requires work. Correct. You're working. You're at a job and your job is to work. Not to just copy paste possibilities, but to actually look into the situation and tell me what caused it, not to tell me what it could have been. This is infamously what YouTube does. They don't actually work. They just tell you what it might be. It was so funny, it was years ago. I remember there was this big epidemic like five, six years ago where everyone on YouTube was complaining that people were being unsubbed from their channels. So people would actively subscribe to a YouTube channel. And then all of a sudden they'd notice the next day they're not subbed anymore. What gives? I want to be subbed to this channel. Why do you unsub me? And it was a big problem because people were putting out videos. People didn't know that the videos were going out. And all these content creators got together and gave all their evidence to YouTube. 
YouTube responded, oh, that doesn't, that's not happening. We don't know what you're talking about. And then they fixed it. That's how YouTube operates. They'll, they'll deny, 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 and do nothing. And then they'll just fix it behind the scenes. Because they know there's a problem, but they won't actually actively do anything up front to help. And then they'll act like nothing ever happened, but it'll be fixed, right? So basically, here's the deal, okay? I don't know what happened, but I have been checking other days. I did look at other days when other people either became a member or gifted memberships. And I can tell you this, I am getting credit for other memberships. It just seems to be those member bombs, the giant ones that I received last week. That's the issue. Other people who gifted smaller member bombs, like there's still people who did like five or ten members each, one member each, those all counted. It's only those 200, 200, 100, those three big member bombs, those are the ones that are in limbo and for some reason have never been counted against my channel, okay? So, it sucks, but what can you do? Because it's funny because some people were saying, um, is it safe? I know this sounds weird. Is it safe for us to support your channel? Yes. <laughs> well, let's see. Either you just don't support at all and I go out of business, right? Or perhaps you take a chance that it'll probably work and then I stay in business and make content for you continuing on. Yes. I mean, it's a silly thing and I understand people don't want to be throwing money into the abyss at YouTube. I, I, I buy something from YouTube that's supposed to support Phil and it's not supporting it, right? I, I'll just tell you this. If you are so afraid okay that any contribution you're giving me isn't counting i mean there's other ways around that there's other ways to support you could always send me a tip you could always pledge to my patreon all right i'm not telling you to do that because what i've seen in the data is that super chats 100 percent are working for sure all those super chats i got that week remember i got a couple really big ones last week they all counted and that's all recorded properly and the other gifted memberships all are good it's only those particular big member bombs all right that are the problem so don't feel afraid oh my god i'm going to renew my membership is it going to count yeah it's counting it's just that, that it looks like that one thing and that the unfortunate part is that's a huge thing 500 gifted memberships is a lot if you do the math i'm not even kidding it's over a thousand bucks and that would help a ton this month because all the ad revenue on youtube plummets on january so all that extra ad revenue i was getting in the fall is gone now and that would help to make up for that loss. And there's nothing I can really do about that, all right? So, um, if you want to support the channel, please do. If I get any updates on this, I, I hope I would. Now, yesterday during my Resident Evil Zero stream, when they hit me with the form letter response, like literally it was 10 facts with zero specific information, just general information that doesn't really apply to me. I responded back to the email and I said, this is not what I want. This is not help. You are basically giving me form letter stuff that doesn't apply to me. Your information is incorrect. This is a violation of your partner agreement. If you don't pay me for those gifted memberships, or if you don't give me a reason why you're not paying me, you are actually violating the partner agreement, which is a violation of a contract in the state of California, and you're liable for it. So I want an answer. And of course, here we are, uh, 20 hours, 22 hours, zero response. Because again, this is how YouTube operates. They probably won't respond. And then all of a sudden, I'll get the, the revenue. It'll show. Or I will get a message about, oh, just so you know, th those were fraudulent and therefore you're not getting it. Like that's how YouTube operates. They'll ignore you, ignore you, ignore you. Won't acknowledge anything. And then there's a resolution. That's just how they work. They've never in my entire history of me working with YouTube, have I ever seen them when I've asked them for something like this, have they ever admitted that something's wrong on their fault and they'll fix it? Never. It's always bullshit. So, it is what it is. Um, I hope that you guys are, are, you know, don't feel like this is a big deal. Because in reality, is it the end of, or is it a make or break situation? It's not. It's very unfortunate that I'm in this situation. But it does look to me like it's alright. You know, everything else is working fine. Please continue to act as business as usual. If you like the channel, please support it in any way. Whether that be a membership, a gifted membership, a super chat, a super thanks, a tip, a, pl a Patreon pledge for a private video or whatever you want to do. It's all good and it all helps. All right? I don't want you to freak out because this is not the sky is falling into the world stuff. It just sucks that it has uh, intervened into what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I wish that I could just operate smoothly and not have any issue, but instead we got a situation where you guys already knew about it because of what was everything going on and kind of messing up here, okay? <clears throat> All right, hold on. I just got an Are you shitting me? I'm not even kidding you. I got an answer, and the answer is, of course, terrible. Hold on, because I'm about to sneeze. I'm not kidding you. As we're doing the podcast, I just got an answer. Okay, listen to this. Let's see if you like this answer. I don't think I like the answer, but at least it's an answer. I can't believe live, as I'm telling you the story, we got our answer from YouTube. And it's actually a legit answer this time. Okay, are you ready? So basically in a nutshell, because I just read it, here's what YouTube says how it works with, with gifted memberships, okay? <clears throat> Let's say, for example, right now, um, I don't know, Gabriel. Gabriel, you're on the stream, right? There you are. Let's say you dropped a 10 member bomb on this channel right now, okay? <clears throat> so, boom, immediately in the chat, you would see 10 members have been gifted out and it goes to these 10 people and I would shout it out, right? Now, if those people are actively on the stream, okay? What you do, I, I don't know how this works. Do you claim it? When you guys get gifted a membership, do you manually claim the membership? Is there a process by which you was like, oh, you've been gifted a membership, congrats, and like click here or whatever? See, I don't know how it works. Is that what it actually says? Can you guys confirm? Because anyone who's gotten a gifted membership, can you confirm how it works? How do you get the gifted membership? So if you've ticked your box in settings, it's automatic. Okay. It's automatic once you opt in. It shows up, you'll end up getting an email saying you got one. If you opt in, it's considered automatic. Here's why I'm, here's what YouTube just told me, okay? Basically what YouTube just told me is that so many memberships were gifted to the channel, all right? That basically they were assigned, but they won't count towards the channel until the person actively gets them. Now, I don't know what that means. They're calling it claimed. That's what it says here, okay? <clears throat> so, it says, it shows that some of your gifted memberships from the previous days are claimed during later dates. That's what he just wrote me in the email, all right? So what YouTube is claiming, doesn't mean this is true, because YouTube talks out of their ass all the time, all right? What YouTube is claiming is that on the days that the 200 member bomb came in, people weren't around to claim them all. The 200 people who got them weren't there. The day when they actually claim the membership, I'll get revenue for it. That's what they're saying. So for example, again, if Gabriel gifted 10 memberships to the channel and the 10 people who get those gifted memberships are sitting in the chat talking, that's considered claiming it instantly, and I get revenue for it right now. But in the case of gifting 200 memberships, okay, and I'm assuming all 200 people were not on the stream to claim them, those people actively have to, I guess, log in or join a chat or do something to claim them, <clears throat> and then I get paid for it. That's what YouTube is telling me. So what YouTube is saying is, if you look at some future dates of your revenue, you'll notice that one or two days you've got a boosted revenue and that's because some of the, the more memberships got claimed. So essentially, they're saying you should get credit for all the gifted memberships, but it's gonna take a while, especially if with those 500 people, those aren't people who watch your content all the time, 
they have to actually actively show up and log in and everything, and then th then you'll get credit. That's what YouTube is telling me right now. Okay? And yes, for Helgen, to answer your question, that does mean you can get a gifted membership without being on the stream for sure. There could be someone who's like hasn't been on the stream for a while and gets a gifted membership, and if they don't acclaim it, then I don't get credit for it. That's what YouTube is saying. <clears throat> Sarah says, makes sense. It's rare you have over 500 viewers. True. It's probably not enough active viewers to claim that amount of memberships. You're probably right. So, so basically what YouTube is saying is, we will, we'll divvy them out, but the person actually has to log in, show up, and then it has to apply to the account, and then you'll get paid. So here it is a week later. And perhaps that first member bomb of 200, right? It got applied, but maybe half those people didn't log into their accounts or haven't haven't been on my channel, so they don't get them. So if they don't get them, I don't get paid for it. Wow. It's interesting how that works, huh? So I guess we'll have to see. So for example, 672 just gifted a membership. That went to Barrel Shroud. Congrats, Barrel Shroud. Thank you, 672. That I get counted for right away. Barrel Shroud's here. That all, Immediately, I get credit for that. But if people do giant bombs, there's no guarantee if and when I'm going to get them. <laughs> right? SB says, maybe it's an anti-money laundering thing. Criminals could mass gift memberships to launder their money. So they need actual active users. Yeah, I could I could see that. I could definitely see that. But the problem with that is YouTube's taking a cut. Why would you launder money through, like, YouTube? I mean, this could be Twitch as well. This isn't just, isn't just one thing. How would you launder money? You're losing a giant cut. Like, from what YouTube told me yesterday in their email, um, YouTube keeps 30%, and the, the, the streamer gets 70%. And that's better because on Twitch it's 50-50. Here it's 70-30 split. So I get way more on this site than, than I would have gotten on Twitch. Um, that would be a pretty ineffective way to launder money. Don't you think? <laughs> you know? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. All right? So this is our... At least we got an answer. Do you like the answer? I don't know if I like the answer. I think that the, at least I have an answer. I'm glad that I got an answer. I don't think I like the answer, though. Like, someone paid for those memberships. The money was taken. Those memberships were divvied out. I don't care if anyone ever logs into their account to claim it. I should get credit for it. Right? From what I'm going to understand, and I think the only pre person that could really answer this, I know this would be weird, would be Only Iced Coffee. Because when gifted memberships began, I think it was like two, two and a half years ago, or one and a half years ago, Only Ice Coffee was the first person to buy them. And you know what happened when he, when uh, he, he, I guess, well, at this point, they bought them. Sorry, because I believe they're transitioning, and I, I think at that point, Only Ice Coffee was he, but now it's she. So now I have no idea what to say, and now I probably look like a jackass no matter what I say. So I'm just gonna say they, okay? Um, so. If Only Eyes Coffee was the first person to buy gifted memberships, you know what happened? They got refunded. Now, I don't know if they all got refunded, if some got refunded, because what happened was people had to sign up for the memberships first to say, oh, I approve them, I'll accept them, and no one had because it had just launched. So they got refunded, but did they get refunded for all? Did some get refunded? How did it work? Because I'm sorry, but I'll be honest with you. I'll be pretty upset if... People are supporting my channel, buying gifted memberships, and YouTube keeps the money and doesn't refund it if they don't get assigned, right? That doesn't make sense to me at all. It's like, I don't care if anyone ever uses the membership. The whole, the whole point of gifted memberships is to help the streamer, right? That's the point. You're trying to help the community help the streamer. Even if you buy 100 gifted memberships and only 70 get assigned, the other 30, what happens to them? Just fucking give them out anyway. You know what I mean? Even if a person never uses it, it should still, be, it should still count. I don't like that. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see how exactly how this is working. Um, but, according to YouTube, over the next, I guess, days to weeks, I should slowly get credit for all of those memberships. Like a trickle. Which sounds like bullshit to me. Sounds like the moment that that's charged and cleared, I should get credit. Transaction's done. That way, everyone is good on every end. No one's unhappy. Right? I think that's nonsense, but again, I don't run YouTube, and the people in charge over there do whatever they want. They certainly don't do things in any kind of a 
a logical way for people who use the site. I've, that's another thing that I've known from over the years using YouTube, that the way they run that site is based on a behind the scenes weird coding mentality. They don't actually do, like they have no, they have book smarts and no street smarts, right? They understand the code, they understand the technicality, they don't understand the day-to-day -day use of the site. So people who actually use the site every day say, that doesn't make sense, you're, you're changing something on the site, it doesn't make sense this way, do it this way. And they're like, huh? They don't even understand how the site works and they're the ones who run it. You know? So anyway, we got our live answer. That was amazing coincidence that we got our live answer as I'm streaming. So rest assured, if you do support this channel via any method, I'm getting it right now. It's just these member bombs, these giant ones that seem to be in limbo. And whether or not I'll truly slowly get credit for them or not, I have absolutely no idea. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out. I'll, I'll try to keep my eyes peeled and see over the course of the month what really happens here. Okay? Fair enough. So that's out of the way.